a very very warm namaskar to uh, everybody and i'm not uh, uh, letting this chance go to speak about the beautiful uh, uh, weather of bangalore it has actually become a ritual uh, for me for the last uh, uh, 14 15 conversations and um, you know today is no different uh, 23 degrees clean air clean sky uh, the nature looks beautiful uh, refreshing uh, and it's nice you know and i'm only hopeful and i keep saying this every time that uh, uh, as we move to restart the uh, economies we use this moment uh, to think uh, what we value the most you know and probably we could uh, uh, include uh, emissions and pollution control uh, into the things which we do not want you know? Uh, otherwise, Bangalore has been put under the uh, 10-day uh, lockdown. Uh, unfortunately, house helps are not considered as essentials, uh, but that's a, a discussion for probably another day. Uh, we have an outstanding uh, 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 panel today, and they are all accomplished leader uh, that I cannot do justice with uh, any elaborated uh, introductions. But uh, very, very briefly, you know. So, uh, Rahul Chandra. Uh, a well-known venture capitalist, uh, the author of the best-selling *The Moonshot uh, Game*. Uh, it's a book which gives you a rare glimpses of uh, uh, how does a, a VC makes uh, decisions while investing into a fund. Uh, Rahul has backed uh, and built successful uh, ventures through uh, Helion, and now uh, he's leading Account Ventures. And uh, uh, he's also a very Uh, accomplished singer, and uh, I will be very shamelessly asking him at the end of this entire conversation that he should sum up uh, uh, with his and his beautiful voice. So Rahul, some uh, heads up for you, you know. Thanks. And um, Umesh and his team uh, uh, assist chairman of Aditya Billa Group in uh, strategic planning and monitoring the uh, uh, group businesses. Uh, he supports the Aditya Billa Group chairman. Uh, in not only leading the decision making on capital expenditure proposals but also formulation and implementation of many strategic decisions and um, as the president and the head of the chairman's office uh, he has been very deeply involved in uh, uh, setting up the aditya billa biz labs and uh, uh, and they're doing some outstanding works in that particular platform we'll probably hear from umesh uh, during the conversation thanks uh, very much deepak Uh, Ravi Narayan has worn uh, multiple hats in his professional career. You know, as a uh, as a product engineer, entrepreneur, investor, mentor, uh, uh, and he was previously leading Microsoft as a global director for uh, for the startups. And um, now, as the CEO for uh, T Hub, he is he is building a kind of an ecosystem that makes uh, uh, Hyderabad a go-to destination for uh, startup and uh, innovation. Uh, then you have Dr. Nikhil Sikri, the man in the news these days. Uh, he's he's armed with MBBS from the uh, All India Institute of Medical Sciences and a management degree from uh, ISB Hyderabad. Uh, uh, you know, I think the startup uh, uh, you know runs in his blood because uh, he started as a doctor, uh, went on to work for Deloitte, and uh, today as a co-founder and CEO, he's a driving force uh, behind Solo. Uh, you know, when Hari came. Um, my editor came up with this topic you know i was uh, i was truly intrigued you know and uh, we thought that we're going to bring together a very diverse set of speakers to discuss uh, uh, why indian startups aren't disruptive uh, uh, enough and um, you know and as as the communication goes you know mr ratan tata also has voiced his concern uh, once and he said that uh, i don't really think that we have many uh, uh, disruptive startups in india as we do overseas and mr tata was primarily focusing or pointing to the fact that um, you know we don't have our own uh, ubers airbnbs or amazon um, that would be worth considering uh, uh, to replicate in a global platform you know but what does disruption uh, really is uh, uh, you know instead of having this particular chat uh, on a breakfast round table we having this discussion today digitally uh, will we describe this as uh, disruptive you know and uh, on netflix is disruptive which, which is practically killed the video rental uh, businesses and allowing more and more customers to cut their cable connections today um, uh, or is uber disruptive or innovative because you know they have only change the taxi model uh, through technology and make it more convenient for people so you know over the 
over the years at the you know we have a we have a platform called a ceo awards which has a some great jury and we have been discussing and debating a lot between disruptive startups and innovative startups and finally we uh, we concluded that you know it is the innovation doesn't need to be uh, disruptive you know and uh, uh, because disruption takes time you know and uh, we we indians are not uh, a uh, risk uh, taking people we can't invest a lot of time uh, in doing researching that and making the things perfect and and doing the things from the scratch also needs a lot of time and monies and and probably in this period of time there could be change in the market strategy or uh, even the en- the entire thing could become a bit frustrating as well uh, but you know i'm not really an expert here to talk about the subject so uh, i'm going to let uh, my friends do all the talking and uh, with five um, extremely passionate leaders uh, uh, you can only expect uh, a very engaging conversation today and to moderate this conversation um, uh, you know we have murli talasila he is a partner in innovation leader at pwc india and uh, murli has also played a very key role in identifying startups and structuring and um, uh, and refining their business models so gentlemen um, i'm all set for the very insightful uh, conversation and i'm going to return back uh, towards the end of this conversation to know what more is going in your life other than uh, looking for those innovative disruptive uh, ideas and uh, till then murli the screen is all yours